Hey guys, my name's Josh, and I'm here to help you sew. What you will need. Your clothing with the problem, the material you will be using for the patch, a ruler, pins, needles, thread, toothpicks, a thimble, buttons, scissors, and a ripper. First, you're going to take your button and pin it in place. Next, you need to get a medium-sized needle and about 24 inches of thread. Then, you will thread the needle. Make sure to make both ends of the thread the same length. For tying a knot, you want to make a loop with the two ends of thread. Then go through the loop twice with the ends. And then pull the thread tight. Using a thimble can keep you from getting poked. When sewing, you want to start with the back side of the fabric. Push the needle through the fabric and one of the buttonholes. Then go across and put the needle through the adjacent hole. Once one of the sides is sewn down, you can remove one of the pins. Once you're on the back side of the fabric again, you're going to go across and go through one of the holes that you haven't been through yet. You're going to want to grab a toothpick and put it between your button and the fabric. You'll eventually use this to strengthen your thread. Poke the needle through the last hole and fabric. Then go through all the holes one more time. Now, from the back side, poke your needle through the fabric, but not the button. Wrap the thread between the button and fabric four times. Then, go back through the fabric with your needle. Now, on the back side of the fabric, poke your needle through and then through again, so you're still on the back of the fabric. This will make a loop. Go through the loop twice and then pull the thread tight. Finally, you are going to cut the loose threads. You can compare your button with the others to see how you did. Sewing on a patch. First, you are going to locate your rip or tear. You need to find out the size of the hole so you can make your patch. Make sure to leave enough room to be able to fold over the edge. This helps prevent fraying. Now, pin your patch over the hole. Make sure it is centered and the fabric has no folds in it.
Once more, grab a medium sized needle and about 48 inches of thread. Remember your thimble so you don't get poked. Thread your needle, line up the ends, and tie your knot. Remember, grab your thread, make a loop, and put the ends through the loop twice. From the back, poke your needle through the corner of your patch. If you have your needle just catching the edges of the patch and fabric, you won't see the thread as much. Also, try keeping your spacing even when you sew. Note, be careful with your needle and thread that you don't sew the other side of the fabric to what you are working on. If you do sew your project to part of your coat, just loosen up where you put it through, cut it as long as you can so you can tie it into a knot. Once you have a section sewed, you can remove the pins so it will be out of your way. As you are going, make sure there are no bulges or excess fabric where you are trying to sew. If there is, unpin what you have done and straighten it out, then repin it. For sewing around the corner, when you put your last stitch in on one side, just move to the next side and go a little ahead of where you last stitched.
When you finish sewing and are ready to tie off, get your needle on the back side of the fabric. Make a loop by stabbing through the fabric, but stay on the back side. Then put your needle through the loop twice. If you want, you can do it again. Finally, you are going to cut the loose threads. You can see over here, it looks fairly decent. Um, there are times where I, I got the spacing different, and so it looks kind of sloppy. It is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be to sew on camera. Um, over here, it looks fairly decent. This one I actually, I sewed mostly off camera, so. Um, over on this side, uh, as you can tell, it's it's not exactly square. Um, I took out my pen a bit too early and did not fold the fabric over to uh, stay at the same length. So I, I think I'm going to iron the, them into squares for you or whatever. Um, and then same thing on this side. Over here in this corner, I did not get it folded under all the way, so, and that should be fixed for you guys. Um, but overall, it's not, not too bad. Um, now, one thing you want to make sure that you're doing is you want your patch to be more centered over the hole. Um, mine very much was not, and that caused problems over in this area um, it was a, a bit more difficult to sew because I didn't have much material to cling to um, so you just want to make sure that you have your your patch more over the middle of the hole 